I'm Mike, and this is Remotorcycle, and I have got a story for you today. The opportunity to go down to Florida and train with Ride Like a Pro and Jerry Paladino. And this is the story of how it happened. So if you don't know Jerry with Ride Like a Pro, he's a former motor officer and motor officer instructor, and he currently has a riding school in Florida, based in Florida, that has a website with classes to sign up for. He sells videos and booklets for all of the things that he teaches. And he's got franchises now all over the country, even in Japan. From what I've seen from Japanese motorcycle videos, I don't know what help they need. I mean, check this out. I mean, look at this guy going around here in the rain. You know, does it look like Japan needs help with their riding? I mean, I don't think so, but maybe they do. Okay, okay, okay. They, they do need help. They do need help. Send help. They need lots of help. Woo! All right, so I know I'm following in some famous footsteps. If you just saw the video just a few weeks ago, some of my favorite YouTubers were there with Jerry. It was pouring rain. You've got Andy and Joe and Meg and Mike and Carolyn. I'm going to link all their channels down below, and you can check out their, their channels too. It's like, that's it. That's it. I'm a motorcycle rider. I'm a YouTuber. I'm going down to see Jerry myself and see what's what. Because the question was, can YouTubers really ride? It's like, well, I don't know. I've never, how would I know if I've never been to see Jerry? So went on down there. I happened to be uh, down south for work, which is why it worked out. I uh, kind of brought my motorcycle to work that, that day <laughs> in Florida. <laughs> so it was a little bit different though. There's an element to this that probably won't happen to you. The class is normally scheduled for Sunday morning, but it was supposed to be a rain out. So Jerry called me when I was on my way down. He's like, hey, hey, motorman. I'm like, hey, motorman. He's like, you mind if we do the class on Saturday because it's going to wash out? I said, no, it's cool. It, it was going to work for my schedule. He said, okay, good, because now it's only you and one other guy. The rest of them don't want to leave Daytona Bike Week on Saturday, so it's just you two. I'm like, what? What, what, what? This is amazing. Basically like a private lesson with, come on, right? So made it down there and got to meet my training partner for the day. His name was Al. The first thing Jerry asked us in the morning was, have you been practicing? Yeah, I practice when I can practice, but here, you know, this is it. Al and I were ready to go. And after the slow race, if you watch his videos, you know that the first thing up is the cone weave. You got 12 foot space between the cones. And so here you go. And so I was getting kind of comfortable with the distance between the cones and getting my bike, you know, dipping and, and going and, and uh, getting familiar with how that was working. And all of a sudden I look over and Jerry, uh, he's kicking my cones over. Like he's kicking one this way and then one this way and then one this way. He's like, okay, do it now. You'll have to slow down a little bit and dip further. If you are rising to a challenge, if you meet the, the um, standard of the exercise, he'll just modify the exercise and make it harder. And that's what happened is we started to get into this little back and forth where I would try to do something he's asking and then he'd basically try to break me. And he kept winning, honestly. Um, at some point, I just reached the limits of my own skill and reached the limits of the bike or whatever, and um, I could do no more. Moved our way over to the uh, offset cone weave. He gave me a new set of cones, like, in the middle. And so I had to do those. And as soon as I could do those, he made me do circles. <laughs> it's like, oh, good for you. You can do these tighter cones. Well, then do circles around these cones. So now I'm doing circles around these cones. And at this point... I'm learning how to turn my bike tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter because he just keeps kicking the cones in. And I don't know how many feet I'm doing anymore. I know from my own practice, I could never do like tighter than 20 feet without feeling like I'm just going to completely wipe out. But now I'm just going around and around and around these, these cones, changing directions. That I don't know anymore like where I stand. There's no measurements anymore because he's just throwing cones on the ground. <laughs> right? 
So, okay, so I'm on the intersection. And uh, those are pretty big. If you've been doing circles on new cones, those are pretty big spaces. So soon enough, he added circles to the intersection. And I think I heard him say at one point that I was hitting 18 foot or maybe even less circles. Yeah, that's 18, maybe less. And as soon as you start using your head and eyes more, you just start to wear the bike and just kind of your eyes just drag the bike where you want it to go. And those circles just start shrinking and shrinking. So after intersection, Jerry says, follow me. And he's driving through the grass. I don't have it on video, but he drove through the grass with his little cart. So he takes me to this parking lot next door and then he starts having me do figure eights. And again, he's yelling at me like, turn your head, turn your head. It's like, okay, okay, okay. And all of a sudden, these figure eights, which were so sketchy, I was putting a wheel outside the line like pretty regularly, uh, missing the X pretty regularly, just, yeah, I can kind of do it, but it's like, this isn't pretty. I mean, you're not going to put this, you know. And all of a sudden, like, he's like, okay, keep practicing, and he takes off. And I keep practicing, and, and look at this. You can see, like, all of a sudden, oh, it's getting easier. <laughs> oh, dear. It, oh, dear. It's getting way easier. What is happening? Am I going outside the lines or something? I don't think so. Holy cow. As long as you're forced to do it the right way, those fundamentals will build and it gets better and better. It was at this moment, after I got back from the parking lot, I kind of took a break. He was working um, with Al off to the side again, you know, on other things. Like, So he's like, hey, Al. Um, is it okay if Mike tries your road king? And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean, what if Mike tries your road king? Or what? I was like, well, he's doing pretty good. I don't mind. I'm like, oh, wow. I've never ridden a bagger before. I'm like, man, if I dump Al's bike, I mean, come on, right? The pressure was on. So, you know, I, I was... Uh, I don't know. It's timid at first, but I'm like, look, he said I could ride it, so I'm gonna ride it. <gasps> it's a f I'm dragging ass on this thing. Scraping the boards. Using the whole intersection. I'm just like, <laughs> Oops, sorry, 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 Al. But can you believe this? This is not going to happen to you. If you go to ride like a pro, Jerry's probably not going to have only two students, and he's probably not going to have one of them ride the other guy's bike the first time on his bagger. It's probably not going to happen to you. However, I have good news. I have good news. Jerry will rent you one. He has his own, I don't know if it's, I think it's a Road King or a Street Glide or something like that. So you, you could have a, a, you know, a first experience on a bagger that way. Okay, so basically the class was over, and then he's like, you know, hey, do you want to do a timed intersection? I said, yeah, I, uh, I already did one earlier by myself. Doodle, this one's for you. You can use the video to time me. start to stop probably around 20 seconds or something like that so my challenge to my fellow youtubers is let's set up some cones and do our own time we all have video so we you, you don't have to even time it you just time it with the camera and set up our own intersections and do some time and stuff and then post it and we'll see what happens maybe over the course of the summer we all get way way better i hope you enjoyed this story it was a blast to do it was, I think, a once in a lifetime chance. Thanks for watching and thank you to my new subscribers. I appreciate it, I see you and uh, I'm glad you're here. 
I'll see you next time.